Hi. Uh, this is my old uh, John Deere tractor, the one I traded for my new one. And Buddy decided to finally put new blades and new bearings in it. And of course, the uh, everything was seized. He had put an impact on the, we didn't know if it was right hand thread or left hand thread on the bolt holding the uh, blades on, but we found out that all lawnmowers that blow grass out the right hand side are right hand thread, which is like 99% of them, or 99.9% .9 of them. So anyway, uh, he managed to strip the heads with the impact, so there was no getting heads off, so he dropped in here last night. We took the mini grinder and half cut off the heads and then chiseled chiseled and hammered the heads off and got the, uh, the blades off. So then we cut the nuts off underneath the deck that were all rusted for the little uh, carriage bolts to hold this unit in. And we had the, he looked it up on the computer and he was going to buy these assemblies for like $150 for both sides plus the blades. So we didn't pay too much attention. But anyway, he looked up again today. And we did, and I did. And no way we could not find anything except for individual parts, expensive. Individual parts. Could not buy any complete kits because this thing is 1988 it's a stx 38 uh, 1988 and it's old enough that the aftermarket companies never tech never got involved to, to make parts for people because most of these are in the junkyard or backyards trashed so Anyway, no parts are available except for, oh, good grease on that side, except for um, individual parts at top dollar. So, and the John Deere dealer quoted them $300 a side, just about, uh, just under $300 a side just for this unit and 65 dollars for the blades so by the time he had tax that's darn close to 900 dollars and on um like on the computer like ebay and amazon different places you can buy these assemblies for all the newer uh, john deers for between be, between 100 and 200 dollars you can buy kits for all that and the and the blades and even the ones with three blades you like 122 dollars or like you can buy different you can shop around but it's between 80 and 200 dollars for complete kits but on the older tractors unavailable you have to buy individual parts and that's like a hundred dollars and another hundred dollars for the shaft then you had to buy the bearings and the bolt and everything by the time you're done you've got like five six eight hundred dollars invested so anyway since we cut these off yesterday i was a little concerned how i was going to get them out of that hole but um we hammered after i cut it and he chiseled and hammered for a while uh i just put i put it in the vice here and put vice grips on it and, and they came right out but uh it was a little bit different story getting the keyway out he pulled the pulleys off last night i gave him a puller and he went home and he said they came off hard they were rusted and he put a couple dents in them all had to straighten but anyway i got the keyways both out i put a little dent there in the threads uh i had an angle punch and came on to it so i had to file that little groove and anyway there's the keys they're actually still in good shape i just crushed one end just crushed one end which i can either hammer or file out you know like 
within reason because as I said there it's only a lawnmower it's not a Ferrari so that can be just hammered and filed a little bit and put right back in when the pulley goes on after the new bearings so anyway I got the uh, old totally seized up no good bearings and he's lucky uh, it did not spin on the shaft the shaft's still good it's not scored so uh, um, the, ma the cost of four bearings and two bolts and he's already bought new blades will put them in business for um, $65 he paid for the blades and I imagine these are probably $10 a piece. So it'll be like $40, $50 for bearings. And I can put her all back together and he can be good. So um, that'll cheer him up because it was kind of doomsday because we cut these bolts off and didn't think we were going to get them out. But the hammering we did jarred the threads enough that vice grips, they turned right out. So anyway, he's... He'll be in business in no time whatsoever. This is just a video uh, to let people know that the older John Deere's, me, they have good points and bad points. One of the bad points is uh, you can't find the parts are more expensive. Uh, they're not in the aftermarket world because they're all gone. Like now, as I said, if I need um, those those bearing that assemblies for this thing, uh, I can get them for less than two hundred dollars complete with new blades and everything. So to save all this hassle, it seized up like it took me one hour to get those bolts out and those two dowels or you know keyways out, uh, and without doing any damage. But anyway, they came, those keyways were really stuck in there. Uh, I had to really hammer. But anyway, um, yep, I, everything's good here. Um, see you later.